God, for that thing that you've been waiting for. Ask God for a change in your life before the year ends. Ask God that his majesty will come down. Ask God for a deeper encounter with him, a deeper relationship with him. Ask him to dwell more with you. Just ask God to be with you in these moments. Pray over yourself. Pray over yourself and just ask God to do something within you. Do something great. Do something powerful. Something mighty. Ask God to be with you, to walk with you, to show you the path. There's certain things that only you know about yourself. Ask God for those things, to build on those things, whatever gifts you have, whatever ministry area you have, whatever things that you have within yourself, ask God to develop those things within you. Ask him to bring those things forth. Pray of yourself right now and just commit yourself into the arms of God that he will rule over you Rule over all of your thing. Rule over every part of you. Pray for him that as he sees you in your times of need, that he will continue to aid you. As, as situation after situation comes, that God will help you find your way through them. Pray that your relationship with God will continue to grow in strength. That you will have peace and joy and, and understanding and wisdom as you grow in the Lord. Just continue to consecrate and commit yourself to God right now. That he will have charge over you, the rule over you. That he will bless you more and more and more. And just the things that God has promised you, proclaim them over your life. Proclaim them over your life. The things that God has, has given to you, proclaim them over your life. Proclaim the fruits of the Spirit. Proclaim wisdom. Proclaim understanding. Ask God to do those things with you more and more. Proclaim knowledge and growth and success and financial stability. Just continue to proclaim those things for God. And lastly, I just want us to, to pray over the service of today. That as we worship here today, as we fellowship with God, that the Lord will come down. That no matter what we're doing, we will feel his presence. That God, you are here and that your glory will be filled God, that we will know more of you and you will do more for us in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we just pray that you will line things up and align them for us. Build us in a way of power. This ministry, this church, Lord God, let it stand on a firm foundation of your word. Lord God, that this ministry and this, this area that we are in, Lord God, that we will grow from here. God, that your word will be preached, that will, people will come here to meet salvation, to meet you, Lord, that will come to meet healing, Lord God, in person, not just online, Lord God, that people will come here to hear from you and to know you. God, I pray for every single person in this room that they will encounter you, encounter you directly, encounter you in their personal lives, in their daily walks, in their personal devotions. Lord God, I pray that you will touch on the hearts of every single person here, that whatever it is they need for you to grow, whatever it is they need for you to succeed in their life, to get to that next step, to overcome the difficulties that they are going through, Lord God, that you will come and encounter them, that you will come and be with them and stand by them in their times of need. Lord God, I pray that your strength and your joy and your peace that passes all understanding, Lord, will be upon every single person in this sanctuary. God, we pray that you will guide every single person in this sanctuary. We pray that you will be there to fulfill your promises in our lives. God, we know that you are a God who never fails, who loves us at all times. Lord God, 
if there's anything within any of us at this point that it is that we just need to say, God, I'm sorry for doing this, or God, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. I've been warned, or I've been told multiple times that I should not be doing this. I shouldn't be acting this way. I shouldn't be saying these things. I shouldn't be doing these things. Lord God, we just want to repent right now. We just want to say, Lord, we're sorry. And if it's something that we're struggling to give up, struggling to no longer hold on to Lord God, I just pray right now for a release, for for the breaking of those chains, allowing us to continue to just grow in you, no longer rely on other things, but God, rely in you. God, I pray that you hide us in you. Let us dwell in your place. Lord God, let us dwell with the Holy Spirit. God, we just pray over the service today. We thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for all that you continue to do. Ask that your presence is welcomed here and dwells here with us today. God, we ask that we all have an encounter, a specific encounter from you, and we specifically learn from you. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Let us share the grace. Offering time. Let us raise our offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord, for what you have given to us, and please accept the small token that we give unto you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.